Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your uh, twin flame reading. Uh, the energy, now please keep in mind that everybody goes through a twin, well not everybody, but everybody goes through different stages of a twin flame. Uh, whoever this is meant for is definitely working on them is what this says to me in regards to the chicka energy. Uh, I pulled a 10 card spread. We are going to do the feminine energy first here. I do have the male energy from a different deck as well. 10 card spread, five above, five below, as well as an outcome and two clarifiers. Uh, interesting energy. Now he is stepping on in in regards to the twin flame, the, the male energy, I shall say. Uh, so let's get started, whoever this is meant for. You know what? You caught him free. All right, you're dropping the burdens in regards to the past here, okay? Uh, uh, you're dropping the burdens of the fight, all right? Uh, you've been battling with this decision, I feel, you know, and it's literally heading towards the past here. No more. You're not going to battle over this anymore. You know, you took this energy of this Queen of Swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but it's really about that sword. Look at her. You know, she is about that communication, but it's really about the energy of cutting free, you know, cutting free of the situation, seeing that clarity of the mind here as well with that sword energy. And you know what? There it is. Movement to what? With that eight of wands quickly to go restore your balance. Okay. Is what that says with the four of pentacles. Okay. Now here comes Mr. Joe Schmo himself. All right. Mr. King of Cups. All right. Does represent water, but it's really about the love. Okay. He does have a bad rap about him, nothing against water signs, you know, guys. Uh, but he does have a hard time, you know, opening up, showing his emotions here. Uh, there it is, all right? So what does he do? He stays quiet, all right? He's not opening up. The Four Pentacles is kind of reserved energy. He's not opening up here. Why is that, you say? A little bit, you know, under the pressure of his mind here. Doesn't know what he does, what he's doing here. Now, the Nine of Swords does represent Nightmare Stage, which is pretty wild because there it is. There's the tower. Need proof right there. Yep. Uh, having a tower moment in regards to his thoughts here because he sways. He sways back and forth to communicate is what that says. Power couple. You need to talk. Okay. This is what that relationship is all about. That communication skill. You know, I feel that for whomever this is meant for, they keep swaying back and forth in regards to their mind as to what to do. You know, to take that next step. Twin flame energy with that four of wands as well. Okay. Uh, you know, they can't really make a decision because they're in that tower moment of that nightmare stage. Seriously. So here's the feminine energy. You know, you know, it was very confusing option as to what to do. But you made that choice to come out of the dark here in regards to the cup, the six of cups here. Twin flame energy as well. I take the six of cups as that too. So it's kind of like, you know, you made that option. It was tough to do. You were in your head. You had to clear your energy. It's a confusing energy. You made that choice, that option uh, to come out of the dark here in regards to your past here, meaning this queen of cups. L literally turn looking towards the past. You cut free. You stopped. You saw the light. You know, you saw the truth of the matter. You decided to end the battling. See the truth of the situation. See that light here. You see how there's a light at the end of that, you know? And move forward to regain your balance because this dude loves you. Yes, okay? But he tends to hold back. Why is he holding back? Because he's too much in his head. You know, the Nine of Swords energy, stressing out what to do. Having a tower moment, that's pretty powerful. You know, shake up moment right underneath that nine of swords. So definite nightmare stage, having his own little tower moment. Let him have his moment, okay? Because he does sway back and forth with that king of swords energy to communicate, to have that power couple, okay? Of that king and queen of swords energy here to what? To take that next step. So let him brew, okay? Let him have his little tower moment, you know, Little panties in the wad moment, okay? With his emotions, with this thought process here, okay? Let him figure things out, chickas, okay? Because you did the right thing. It's been very confusing, you know? You didn't want to... You know, it's not so much about giving up hope. I feel that that's a lot to do with the confusion. Well, if I give up on him, you know, then I'm going to lose him. No, no. See, that's the confusing part with that seven of cups. 
You came out of that. You made that choice, that option to come out of the dark and see the light. See how you're being treated with this, you know. If they're not willing to open up, you move forward. You know, you stop battling with your thoughts here and battling with the situation and come to that completion. You know, see that truth, see that light. It, it doesn't mean that they don't love you. It doesn't mean that they're not going to come back. They keep swaying back and forth in their head, but they got to figure things out for themselves, you know. You can't make that decision for them. They got to figure, they got to be a big boy, you know. Take those pan, take those that wad out of their panties and, and put them on like a real man should, you know, and try to, <laughs> sorry, uh, and, and try to, and stop swaying. You know, make that that executive decision seriously and stand up and be a real man and stop swaying the, oh my God, the, the sword here and just make a decision. But they can't because they're having this terror moment, you know. So until they stop, which they are, because they're at the nine here. So, you know, they're getting there, you know. Uh, there's only one more sword until they can see the truth here and stop swaying your sword you know, and hold it straight like a real man should, like you did, chickas, you know, here you are, it's a little tilted, but that's okay, because you hold that sword, you know, you see the truth of the situation, doesn't mean that you are giving up on him, you're just giving him his space to figure things out, is what that says to me, it was tough, because it was very confusing to see that truth, to come out of the dark here in regards to this past, but you did the right thing, okay, is what that says to me, let him get, get, get out of that funk, okay? Let him get out of his own head here. He's having quite the moment as to what to do. He literally goes back and forth in his head. Should I communicate? Should we be that power couple? Should I communicate again? You know, let him do it himself, okay? He's going to come around. He's got to get to the Ten of Swords, which is ending the mental anguish. Then he's going to communicate is what that says. So... That's what I have for the feminine energies, okay? Good for you. You worked on you. That's good for you. You didn't give up, okay? Because I feel that somebody says is saying or thinking out there, well, I just, I just gave up. You didn't give up. You gave your life a chance again, okay, in regards to being happy and seeing the truth of the matter and working on you and working on your bounce, okay? And that's good, okay? Doesn't mean that it's over. It's not, okay? All right, let's move on to the dude. The male energy, let's do it properly, Deb. <laughs> the dude. All right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All righty. Okay, so the dude, the dude, the male energy, he's got the Nine of Cups, the Strength card. He knows what he wants. He's just got to get the Kahugas to communicate. Uh, page of Swords, Ten of Swords, there it is. The High Priestess here, uh, Three of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Higher Font, Clarified, uh, Three of Wands, the Six of Cups, Nice Stoop Card, Queen of Cups, Power Couple, Love, there's love here, you just need to communicate, dude. Uh, so here it is, in regards to the energy of the male energy, you know, they know what they want, they see what they want, you know, they just have to have the strength to see, you know, to really see it, but... Uh, what do they want to do? They want to have the Kahugas to communicate here, to go get what they want in regards to their divine energy. But just like I said for the feminine energy with him sneak, sneaking on in here, he's got to come to the completion of the Ten of Swords. Can't make this up because he feels the connection with that high priestess. She is the Eleven. It is part of that twin flame energy as well. But he's a little of the unknown, okay? He can't think straight. All right, he's having this tower moment. He feels the connection. He's overwhelmed with the thoughts here, but he's got to end the mental anguish and figure things out in regards to love. The counterpart, clarifier, uh, King of Cups here, Queen of Cups, look their backsies, you know, until, you know, then they can see each other. Once he ends that, okay, he's going to come out of that, absolutely. Uh, but he's got to put in the work for himself. And it, I feel that he does want to put in this work and move forward, Okay, with the Six of Swords, but he's got to get out of his head. He's got to use that sword energy and move forward in regards to his thought process here. Like, here's, here's the Hierophant, which is Major Arcana, which is also known for that commitment, that relationship, spiritually, you know, activated here, okay? But Spirit's like, dude, you know, no, 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 no. If you're going to, you got to come out of the dark here. You know this connection is happening here. But we're going to put a hold on regards to your movement until you actually get out of your head, my son. 
you know, and figure it out. You see the hand is kind of like, uh -uh, you can't move forward, you know, and I clarified that heart font with the three of wands. So, you know, look towards the light, you know, you see that yellow, that's the sun, you know, and then here it is, have that strength to go get what you want, but you have to figure things out in regards to ending that mental anguish and spirit can step in. You know, we all have free will. We all have free choice when they come around again. Heck yeah. You can decide then, you know, but spirit's not going to say, Hey, you know, I don't know why Susan just came in my head. Somebody's name, Susan, but yeah, that was weird. Uh, but it's kind of like, Hey, Susan, we're not going to let this dude walk into your life until he's got his act together until he gets out of his head already, you know? And he's going to have to wait for this, all right? In regards to this past love, the Six of Cups, Twin Flame Energy, it is a dupe card as well. We're going to pull them to Power Couple. Like I said, King and Queen, Baxi's right now. Give him the time, okay? He's going to come out of that funk. He's going to end that mental anguish here. He could have definitely, well, yeah, the King and Queen, I said that in the Chica uh, reading. You know, in regards to this past love, there was cut off of communication. Absolutely. He's trying to have the Cahugas to speak. He has to speak in order to get this wish fulfillment, to put in this work, to get this wish fulfillment. But he also has to put in work in regards to moving away from his thoughts here. Stop getting overwhelmed, my son. You know, spirit's not going to allow you. If you're going to be a hot mess, my son, we're not going to let you play with Susan. <laughs> where Susan came from. Comment down below if your name's Susan. <laughs> ah, here we go. All right. Choice, decision, okay, to open up. That explains the King Cups, okay? He's kind of quiet. He doesn't, he does hold back, okay? He's been holding back exactly how he feels. He's walking towards that decision, okay? He's got to get out of that slump, all right? He's got to take the initiative. He's got to have that change. That five of pentacles is having a change in regards to his balance here. In regards to how he truly feels, there he is, King Cups. So I do feel that whoever this is meant for, Susan included, okay? <laughs> They're probably like, oh my God, you said Susan. <laughs> but anyway, he does love you, okay? He does love the chicka, all right? He needs to come out of that funk in regards to the unknown. He does feel this connection, Okay, he's just a little stubborn in regards to expressing how he feels. He's going to, like, look at this, see? See, he's stressing out, trying to make a decision, walking towards that decision, okay? To come out already and express. Seven of Swords does represent, you know, it's known for deceit at times, you know. I do take it as stress as well. But I do feel that he's going to have that turnaround effect, come out of that energy, you know, and the mental anguish here, okay? Have that turnaround effect. Put in that work. Why are you saying that? Did I not just say that? They want me to add the five of pentacles with the three of pentacles. That's the eight of pentacles, which is putting in that work in regards to their mental energy, okay, anguish here of just getting the strength to go get what they want. But they got to calm their mind. They got to chill their mind here. And they are. They are, but they have to get to that completion first. So I don't feel it's going to be right away, but they're heading towards that decision to speak, okay? To open up that gate again and communicate and offer and express how they truly feel towards their chicken. And that's what I have. Uh, let's, for the male energy, let us continue on here. I'm taking the power couples, twin flame, got the six cups. What I'm doing here, if you have never watched the Twin Flame, is I'm comparing the dupe cards uh, between the feminine and the male energy. So I'm going to take the power couples of the King and Queen of Cups. Do you have this? No. The Queen and King of Swords. There's a meaning behind that. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's double king. Okay. There's some serious love going on that he's definitely withholding. All right. Now, this could, oh, wow, it was energy from the cards. Wow. Uh, I'm definitely feeling that, you know, this could definitely come out of nowhere when they do come out of this funk, okay, and start communicating as well. But there's definitely communication coming about. I do feel that he's kind of, the dude is actually, you know, seesawing back and forth with his emotions, absolutely. I do feel there are times where he does pick up that phone and, 
you know, the cell phone or what have you and starts to call or what have you and then just cancels it, you know. Uh, but I do feel that as well. There is definitely a lot of holding back, but there is definitely love for this uh, twin here, okay? Uh, you got the uh, four of wands for the um, taking that next step, that twin flame energy, as well as the 11 for the high priestess here. Uh, bottom line is this, guys. What I'm feeling is that the male needs to get out of his head. He is going to come out of that, okay? Oh, and the Six of Cups. So this is a true love. This is a true twin flame energy, okay? There's definitely that connection. Um, they, they're going to come to that completion. Do I feel that it's now? No. I, do I feel that it's coming? Yes, okay? But they have to put in that work for themselves. They have to recapture their balance back in with me with them adding the, the five of pentacles with the three of pentacles, that's the eight of pentacles, to so put in that work for themselves of balance. So once they do, they're going to end that mental anguish for themselves, and that's when they're going to act on it. So that's what I have. I do feel that they are going, they, they really do love their chicka, okay, and vice versa, you know. And I do feel that there are going, there is going to be that, um, that communication, okay, definite connection with the four of wands and the two, Wow, then two kings of cups, jeesh. Um, but definitely I feel that connection, absolutely. A lot of spiritual cards as well. So that is what I have. I hope that this helps, guys. I really do. You guys rock. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also click that bell uh, as well as liking this video. I do offer twin flame readings. So please shoot me an email at debdoesreadings at gmail.com to find out more information and prices if you are interested in that. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Be safe out there, and I will talk to you later. Bye.